I don't care how I set up today. I don't care. Hey guys, it's your girl Haley. Like, comment, subscribe. And today I'm gonna give y'all story time. So yesterday, um, if y'all didn't see, I posted up with my friend Abby. I posted her on my story. And um some drama happened. So me and Abby are chilling and there's this girl, uh, Kayla. And Kayla, she had a past history with my ex. Like when I was with my ex, she was sleeping with him. I didn't know. Like I figured out later on down the road, but even before she was sleeping around with my ex while I was with him, um, she, my ex's best friend, she was with him for like two years. And once he got 30 years, his bitch started homie hopping. Like, could me not, like this bitch just fucked four or five niggas in the same circle. She's a squad hoe. That bitch is dirty. That was for the streets. But I, mean, I mentioned this whole delusional in the head too. Like this bitch, when she goes to jail, she doesn't go in the normal one. She goes psych psychiatric because there's something wrong with her in the fucking head. This is not her first time trying this shit with me. The first time she tried it, I was upstairs and my mom was outside because I was in the shower when this girl pulled up. My mom seen some people outside the house. My mom went outside. Bro, two bitches tried to go sit there and find my mom. And once my mom realized they were in a stolen car, my mom started taking pictures of the license plates and they started skirting off on her motherfucking ass but then they claim to tell people they spit on my mom. Bitch. I had a face-to-face -face conversation with my mom about this. If she knew y'all was legal. She would've beat the fuck out of y'all. Like, don't even play with her like that. Don't even play with her talk. Disrespectful ass shit. And plus, it was her and this other bitch. The bitch who motherfucking's calling also put a case on me. So like, why are you sitting up here talking to me when you're not even supposed to be talking to me, bitch? So she tried to sit there, argue with me, and do all that extra shit, right? So I let I let Abby have it. I'm like, bro, you could you could chop it up with them. I try to take her phone, stop her from arguing with them, but like she's drunk and intoxicated. So you know how a person is. They're gonna sit there and they're gonna be hyped about shit. So that's what happened. So I'm sitting there and may mention Abby was telling me when I first got there, her and Kayla got into it and that Sorry, just got an email ready. Um, her and Abby got into it. Like, their, their relationship's on and off, on and off. One minute they're cool, one minute they're not. One minute they're gonna fight, one minute they're not. So, um, Kayla's been to our house before. And, how do I put it? Kayla's been to our house before, but Abby didn't tell me that. Abby just told me she had been to, she pulled up to our location to fight, but she didn't know which door it was. So, we went out to bomb shows and we had a few shots and then um i went to the grocery store because we were gonna go cook something i was gonna make some homemade shit because you know your bitch be white material whipping up in the kitchen and shit and we get all this shit we get back to the house and like it's not like a house it's apartment so like it's a different apartment it's like you got to go through the elevator and go in and then like it's a hallway and there's like it's inside but you, you know like you get the visualization i'm saying so like we're walking around all this extra shit and then boom, I just see her and two other bitches. And I'm like, I know this is not finna happen right now, especially when I'm drunk. Cause when I'm drunk, I'm on some chill, cool, let's have fun type shit. Like why the fuck are these hoes here? How long have these hoes been waiting? So of course I'm still walking forward. I may mention I have both hands full of grocery bags with my purse and my phone. So I'm walking forward and she looked at abby and she was like look i'm not trying to fight you i want to fight this bitch and i was like bitch i'm not on your time period i don't work on your fucking time like don't even sit there and play with me like that so before i can even put my bags down the bitch already took off on me but she ain't take off on me like right here nah you see this and up we looking good we gravy we all good in the hood but my boo just texted me um but like the whole motherfucking started grab me by her like by my hair like you know my hair was cute sleep back that bitch grabbed that shit and just yanked it to the fucking floor and her this other bitch i just feel bitches stomping on my head and of course i've been in fights i've been jumped before so you're supposed to cover your face but like she caught me like two times with her stomping the bitch and the bitch ain't connect on shit the bitch stomp like left. I remember I could count the stomps. One, two, three, four, five. 
and I got scratched on my chin and my like there's still blood a little bit blood around my nose ring because like my shit was puffy like you know I don't give a fuck I'll give y'all the shit like that's not lit it's swollen I'm broke out because I touched concrete like bro that shit disgusting what up like so that's what she did and this bitch got cases on her so i was like oh bitch so you think oh no no not even that not in that so when they're doing that shit the whole time i'm motherfucking saying is bitch i had grocery bags in my hand the whole time like you could even like wait there and just let me post up with you so it could be an even blend like that's weak bitch energy that's that's some pussy ass shit plus you're gonna bring a whole nother bitch Bitch, that's how I knew you wasn't motherfucking competing where you don't compare. Compare, cause bitch, you knew I would beat you the fuck up. You lucky I too, bitch. Y'all wondering what was Abby doing? Abby was trying to sit there and block the girl from video recording. <sighs> oh no, cause my nigga was like, no, that was a setup. Da -da -da -da. But let me tell you what happened afterwards. So afterwards, like all that shit happens, I had the, the neighbors came outside and stopped it. They stopped it. Two grown ass niggas stopped it. And when I look down, my phone is gone. The bitch stole my motherfucking phone. So, I'm ran hype. The neighbors call the police, so the police at the door. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom. So I sit there and I'm like, oh yeah, hold on. Because my mom already pressed charges on this bitch once. Let me do it again. Because this bitch do not learn from the motherfucking first time. You're not finna play with me, bitch. And plus, you stole my shit and you jumped me, bitch. Oh, you finna get tested your own motherfucking medicine. So I smooth. Oh, yeah. G full government name. Don't know where she stayed, but she got cases. So you already know that's gonna be connecting to her address. And then her dumbass wanna call while the police is there. And once she hear the police officer in the background, she'll be like, well, you hit me. And I was like, the, the, the neighbors witnessed what the fuck happened for like five seconds. So they already spoke. So the bitch is fried. The bitch is done for. The bitch can't even talk to me. And then, so like, that's why I didn't post for like a whole fucking day or so because my motherfucking phone got stolen. So then, um, of course, I got myself a new phone. Like, what the fuck? I got myself a new phone, and then Abby calls me talking about this bitch motherfucking on the phone, crying, talking about she don't want to go to jail, and she's sorry. And I keep on telling her, like, just give her her shit back, and, like, the charges will probably be dropped. But this bitch still denying to her fucking grave that she don't have my shit, and I don't understand. Like, bitch, I had my shit when I got the fuck out the car. Why the fuck is not with me now? Because two things the bitch always has her phone in her purse those are two things that she always has on her bitch i'm not gonna be lacking without that shit so i know your whole ass motherfucking stole that shit like and the part that makes me mad the most is like you so weak that you had to bring a whole nother bitch and you could even wait for me to put my shit down for me to even like no no so now i'm still cute i'm not ugly bitch you can never i can never nah bitch you the ugly hoe but shit show disgusting this bitch had chlamydia three times like i would totally motherfucking post the motherfucking picture of her underwear with the motherfucking chlamydia discharging that shit but my phone is took so i don't have it like but she hates me because my ex but may i mention like i i start shit up too on my end i mean not this year though like i didn't sit here and go back and forth with her this year but like Last year was my demon time year. I exposed this bitch, her news, her ex, I mean, her sex tapes. Like, bitch, like, you you knew what the fuck was happening the whole time. So, you knew what the fuck was happening the whole time. And, like, I don't know. But I didn't expect for this shit to happen like that. So, that happened. And, what else? So, yeah. Cops came. I, I did the shit prior to all that shit. My nigga and his best friend came. Then they talked to Abby. They said it was set up vibes. They wasn't fucking with it. The story's just not connecting or adding up. Then the whole gang's calling me because this is not the first time this bitch has done this because she has jumped another friend of mine in the circle. So, like, it's just, it's not, it's, it's you know the fuck I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's not new. But it was, it was surprising because 
normally I'm not the bitch who gets touched, but I got touched. So I'm humble myself. I'm humble myself, but nah. That happened. So yeah, charges are pressed against her. She stole my shit. Like on some broke roach ass shit. Y'all seen the motherfucking shit on my face. It's really not fucked up, honestly. It's just my lips. My lips like my clothes are just purple, but like the inside, y'all already seen that. But yeah, that's that's how um my weekend went. So fascinating, so fun. Yay. So I'm done with that one. So y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment with things y'all would want me to talk about, McBangs, pranks, any of that. And I will be fucking with y'all very soon. Peace out. Bye.